Heather and I came together through an adulterous affair. And through that affair, we effectively forced family and friends to make decisions. They had to take sides. And out of that fallout, you end up um, very isolated. Through the shame and the guilt that we had carried through that, uh, it really affected us, you know, it, it really uh, kept us trapped. My sister prayed for me for about 20 years. I had a back injury. She rang up and she said, hey, would you like to come along to this healing meeting? We spoke for an hour later. At the end of it, um, I said, okay, I will go to the, to the meeting. At the end of the meeting, they called people up to have healing. And I thought, there's no way I'm going up there, you know, even though my back's so sore. Anyway, I finally, they managed to get me up up the front and instantly I was healed. So I thought, hmm, there's something in, in this. So I did a lot of research and asked my sister many questions. Then I gave my heart to Jesus. When Heather got saved, um, that kind of was a turning point for me because I had this one person that I could rely on as sharing the experiences that I'd been through and all of a sudden it felt like she, Heather had done a 180 and pulled a U-turn on me and all of a sudden I'm in a relationship with a, with a Christian. I'm like, what's this all about? Um, <laughs> um, what's that leave for me in my life? I'd pot around home and do landscaping or projects around home during the day, but it left me with idle hands. And Heather, through her business and working weekends, left me with spare time. And that's when things started to unravel for me because I wasn't putting my energies into the right areas. I ended up putting my spare time into sexual impurity and online media, and that started to be the downfall of what had happened. It was an occasional thing, which became more and more frequent to the point where you end up trapped and you, you can't get out because your pride won't let you. The plan was Heather would go working for the day, go around to her daughter's place, get changed, go out with them for dinner and come home later in that evening. That left me free in the evening. I'm thinking, yeah, you beaut. Um, change of plans on the front with Heather. She comes home, I'm online. Um, and that's when, uh, I guess I put our marriage on our knees at that, at that point. That's the way I summarize it, you know. Um, I could actually see the absolute pain and devastation on Heather. My body wanted just to lash out, you know, lash out and, and hurt Grant, um, but my spirit, my, yeah, didn't. So one was warring against the other. It was just so horrible. It was just horrible. It wasn't easy. And it was at that point that I actually called out to God and invited him into my life. Um, sitting in the lounge chair and he responded with that. Um, the second thing I did was um, I got down on my knees before Heather mm. and I actually asked Heather to forgive me. I just said, yes, I forgive you. It was very I meant it because God's forgiven me. Where I'd carried, you know, the secrecy and this burden, it was laid down. God actually took it off me to, you know, give it to me and we'll put that down at the cross and we'll leave that there. And I, I yeah, it was, it was just amazing. And um, since then, um, I've just walked in a peace and a freedom, freedom to be me. My whole life started changing in front of me, started unfolding. And I started changing, I, I started putting jewellery on, I, I started, started to stand up tall. I go, wow, I'm a new woman. I've got a new man and it's like a new marriage. Out of this, God's given me um, a real revelation of how blessed I am to have Heather in my life. You know, it's, um, it was because she didn't give up on me. And I say to every woman out there, do not give up. Because if you give up, you lose. I have won, and this is my prize. Mm. I guess the uptake out of here is encouragement for other people that might be in a situation like this is, I really now have had my eyes open just to how blessed I am to have her in my life, just how important she is and how significant you are where I devalued Heather through my actions beforehand and undermined who she was as a woman and what her worth was in our relationship. But now I, I acknowledge that is quite critical. His love is just so pure. Nobody can give you that love, no human being, no mother. I've got a loving, loving mother. 
And, but God's love is just the purest. It is just the purest that you could ever have.